Martino. I'm the director of the Performing Arts Department here at King. I would just like to again thank the entire middle school and all the team leaders. And I do have to say, since there are mostly parents in the audience this evening, that the students uh, were so engaged in all the activities. They went from uh, writing letters to Japanese students. They went to uh, writing haiku poems that were all over the wall here, out in the lobby, um, to folding cranes. And my job was to go and, and uh, follow them with a video camera. And it was just really a pleasure and an honor to see grades six, seven, and eight uh, really be focused on this task together. Um, thank you to Dr. Chasson, who is our head of global education, who worked very closely uh, with Amy Darton, Alex Weiner, and the entire middle school faculty. What I love about this particular play is that it is much more than kids learning how to act and stand in place. They certainly learned how to do that. But it's a retelling of a time in our history, a time we should not forget. Thanks to Amy's daughter, Mireille, who is a teacher in Japan, we were able to receive many letters from the Japanese students. I want to share with you a few quotes from those students about the story of Sadako and what they want us all to remember. A 16 year old girl, Japanese girl stated, I want to tell you that we can't change the past, but we can change the future. We must make a peaceful world. Another student, my message for American students about Sadako is, I wish for world peace so we could learn this story. We should remove war from all parts of the world. We need to tell the younger generation about our war experiences for the purpose of avoiding new wars. Personally, I'm very proud of these students. I told them on Monday when I first saw the run through that I forgot for a moment that they were middle school students. This is not an easy topic. They handled it with grace. They are completely professional and they are doing the, their very, very best and working at the highest level they can to retell a moment in our history. You are about to witness not only a beautiful piece of theater, but a reminder of our time in history that we hope not to repeat. In the words of Sadako, be the peace. Enjoy. Thank you. in Japanese. These creatures have occupied a prominent place in Japanese art, literature, and folklore for centuries. Their regal carriage reflects their dignified status as a symbol of good fortune and health. Suru are said to live for a thousand years and are often painted along pine trees, stone, and bamboo, other symbols of long life. According to the folklore, if one crane represents 1,000 years of happiness, the 1,000 cranes would mean 1 million years of happiness. Suru are sociable creatures, living in large flocks and through the performance of an intricate dance, finding lifelong wings. A symbol of fidelity and devotion, their image is often found on the kimono of a bride or belt of a groom. The strong wings of a Suru are said to carry souls to paradise. The life and death of a young girl, Suru also came to represent the desire for peace and the action of peace. Soaring cranes take flight. Souls ride in cranes, seeking peace there, not here. Cranes lift wings in flight onto the heaven, carrying Sadako's prayers. So 
You must learn moderation in all things. It is the beginning of wisdom. But Father, I have most wonderful news. It seems that everything in your world is wonderful, Sadako. That makes me glad. <clears throat> Tell us your news. Now? Now, Sadako. Well, today, Miss Junomura made me the last leg on the Bamboo Class Relay Team for the Grand Field Day. This is quite an honor, Sadako. Your perseverance and dedication have brought this to you. You have been practicing very hard. Yes, Father. Kenji and I run every day. Kenji's a fast runner, a fine athlete. Yes, yes, Father, and a good teacher, too. You must work very hard every day if you want to win. Oh, I want to win, Mother. I want to win more than anything on Earth. Then we believe you, Sadako. Hope their wish is granted. Just think, if we win, I'll be sure to get on the junior high school team next year. That would be an honor, Sonico. But remember, you have many years to develop as a runner. Be patient. Come, enough talk of running for now. Mother, those candles are beautiful. It will soon be the festival of Ovon, Sonico. It is the day of the spirits, when our ancestors may return to our world. We put out the candles to honor our ancestors who have died. We ask them to join in our celebration of life. This one is for Oban Chan, your grandmother. I remember her. I was only a baby, but I remember how warm my grandmother's hands were. Oban Chan died in Pika Dawn. She had a gentle voice. Suddenly, there was a great flash of light, like a million suns. Her smile was like sunshine. It cut through the sky. Grandmother? Grandmother? The world was filled with blinding lights. Then it rained, black rain. Can you hear me, Grandmother? It destroyed our city. Can you spear it when you return, like they say? It took our home. I want you to return to us. It took our friends. Are you watching me now? My mother went back to the house. Can you see me when I run? It took your grandmother, Oban Chan. 151, 152, 153, 154. Grandmother? Will it with memories? Can you hear me now? Grandmother? I hear you, Sadako. Grand Field Day arrived, and a large crowd of people gathered to watch the events. Mr. Nomura, Sadako's teacher, gave them some final direction. <coughs> Sadako's parents and her best friend, Chizuko, came to cheer her on. Kenji and Mai were there too, of course. Be sure not to eat or drink anything before the race. Stretch and breathe. Focus and think of nothing but the race. All the hours of training will carry you across the finish line you will bring honor to our bamboo class. Sadako was so nervous. She was afraid her legs would not work at all. Members of the other team suddenly looked taller and stronger than her teammates. Sadako Chan, it is natural to be a little bit nervous. But don't worry, when it's your turn, you will run like the wind. You have a runner's heart, Sadako. Trust it. Do your best. The first runners were all in starting position. At the crack of the pistol, they took off. As her turn approached, Sadako could see her teammate Mieko in second place. As she approached Sadako, Mieko passed the number one runner and placed the baton in Sadako's hand. Look at the turn run! Run, Sadako, I know you can win. She's running like the wind. Sadako ran to the start her heart first. She crossed the finish line first, and the bamboo class won the race with a commanding lead. Everywhere Sadako looked, she saw smiling faces. This was the first time Sadako felt dizzy and strange, like something was wrong. Turtle, you'll never win at that speed. I am not a turtle. That's how fast turtles run, isn't it? Actually, 
actually, turtles don't run, do they? My you. Come on, Sadako. I bet in my you can make it to the roof before you. Bet you can't, and you can't either. Bet I can. Bet you can't. Let's find out. Sadako? Sadako, what happened? Nothing. It's just my knee. That's all. Are oh, you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Should we take a rest? Okay, let's carry on then. Sadako? Kenji, I think we should take her home. No, I'm just dizzy, that's all. It's been happening ever since Grand Field Day. Should we keep on going? All right, let's go. I'm trying, I want to run. I'm trying, Grandmother. I want to win, Grandmother. I want to fly like the wind. I hear you, Sadako. Why did she fall? Why did she fall? What could be wrong? What could be wrong? Nothing. I'm just tired. That's all. X-ray his chest. Examine her blood. What does that mean? Let's put her in the hospital. Red Cross Hospital. 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 A hospital? No. Put her to bed. Put her to bed. But there's nothing wrong with me. Why did she fall? Why did she fall? I was just dizzy. Take some more tests. Take some more tests. But I don't want any more tests. You'll be just fine. Now don't worry. Put her to bed. But I'll miss the race. Now don't you worry. You'll be just fine. Put her to bed. I want to fly like the wind. Leukemia, 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 leukemia. Leukemia? Sadako was exposed to the Nikodon, wasn't she? That was 10 years ago. She has been fine. You should see her run. I'm sorry to say that sometimes the disease does not appear for a long time. Disease? Leukemia? My little girl? But that's impossible. The atom bomb didn't so much as even scratch her. It is cruel, I know, but that does not matter. The radiation that day was everywhere and covered everyone. I dream about it every night. Radiation is like light, but it can't be seen. It penetrates and permeates everyone and everything that is near it. Once exposed, even a little bit, living things will start to deteriorate and eventually die. In some cases, the disease progresses in the body slowly over a long period of time, such as the case with your daughter. The atom bomb sickness, but why only my daughter? Some get sick, some do not. We do not know why. Sadako-chan, you must stay here for a little while, but I will be back every day to see you. Do I really have atomic bomb disease, Father? Sadako. But it can't be true, can it? Mother, I don't have any scars from the bomb. It didn't even hurt me. It can't be true, can it? Father! There are now, Sadako. They just want to do a few more tests. But how can I be sick from the bomb? It killed my grandmother, but it didn't even hurt me. The radiation doesn't always show up right away, Sadako. But I was only two when the bomb fell. It's just a few tests. All will be well. I will be back every day to see you. But the race. I have to run the race. I can run the race. Can't I? Don't worry. You'll only be here a few weeks. Get some rest. Be brave. The race. Sadako stayed many weeks in the hospital. The day of the race passed and she was not there. Sadako endured the tests and procedures with grace, remaining convinced she would run again. In Japan, each elementary school class is given a unique name. Sadako's was the bamboo class. In March, the bamboo class had its graduation party. Sadako was responding well to her treatment, and Dr. Hatagawa gave her permission to attend. To recognize all of her achievements at school, Sadako's parents scraped together their savings and had a beautiful kimono made for her to wear. When she arrived, she was given the seat of honor at the party. The students gave her a red notebook signed by all of them and a Kokeshi doll. This was the last time she saw many of her friends at school. 
Salico was not one to stay lonely very long, however. She loved people and was interested in everyone around her, especially the younger patients. She made many friends, but her favorite was Kia. At first, Kia was apprehensive. She was very shy. However, Sadako was persistent, and the two quickly became close. Whereas Kia was quiet and reserved, Sadako loved to socialize with the other patients, old and young, as well as with the many nurses. Sadako looked up to Kia like an older sister and constantly asked her questions. Kia? Yes, Sadako chan. What are all those beautiful flowers out there? They're called the canna flower, I think. I don't know much about them, but they've always been there as long as I can remember. They're everywhere. Yes, they are. The color is beautiful. They match your kimono. You're right, they do. We should go outside and pick some. I bet they smell wonderful. We can bring you Kiko and Tzatziki down the hall. chan is there anybody at this hospital you don't know? I like knowing people. I like to hear their stories. We sing together. It makes me feel good. And them too, I think. You know so many people here, we should start calling you the mayor of this hospital. <laughs> I don't know about that. Kyo, come with me. We just have to run a few more tests. Really? How many today? Not too many. I know it's hard, but the sooner we go, the sooner we'll be done. Okay, I'm coming. More tests. I know. Be brave. I'll be here right when you get back. And I'll be with you the entire time. All right, I'll be brave. She won't be long. Come, doctor is waiting. Okay, see you later. Bye. Regular tests and procedures were a part of a daily life at the Red Cross Hospital. Some, day, some days harder than others, but Sadako persevered with the help of her friends and family. Good morning, Sadako. Good morning, nurse. Oh, what do you have there? Oh, that is a beautiful Bukeshi doll. I used to have one growing up myself. My friends at school gave it to me at my graduation party. Oh yes, Dr. Hanagawa let you know. And they gave me this diary too. It's my first one. Have you been writing in it? Yes, every day. It's wonderful seeing my friends. I'm sure it was. Did you wear your cherry blossom kimono? I did, <coughs> and they even let me sit in the seat of honor too. But I'm afraid that my parents have spent too much money on my kimono. Well, maybe you could share it with Kyo or Yukiko. I'm sure they would love a chance to wear it. That's a great idea, nurse. And maybe we could have a day where each of them got to sit in the seat of honor. What do you think? Sadako, you amaze me every day. I will talk to Dr. Hadagawa and say this request came straight from the mayor of the hospital. Sorry to keep you busy. 
This will make a lot of paper cranes. Chizuko? Yes? Who won the race? Oh, I don't remember her name. She was slow. She was a turtle. And she always said I was a turtle. I told him he's a frog. Sadako, you're much more like that crane there. You run very fast. Like a bird. Like the wind. I'll start folding 1,000 paper cranes starting now. I can help you. Thank you, but I think in order for the gods to hear me and grant my wish, they need to know how much I want to get better. I understand. I'm sorry to leave you, but the bus will be coming any minute. That's okay. I'm going to be very busy folding paper cranes. All right. I'll visit you as soon as possible. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Chizuko. Yes? Thank you for the crane and the paper. You're welcome. Now start folding. John, you're back. I have such news. And what news is that, Sadako? My friend Chizuko brought me this. That is a beautiful paper crane. You're lucky to have such a good friend. I am. And I'm going to fold 1,000 paper cranes, just like in the legend. My grandfather used to tell me that legend. Last time I heard it, I was so young, I couldn't even count to 1,000. And that's a lot of folding for one little girl. Would you like some help? No, thank you, Kyo. But I could use company. How about if we sing? It will help me fold faster. Sadako-chan, you know that I don't sing. But I do have something else. This was my mother's and her mother's before that. I used to play it all the time, but I have not played since I got sick. Why did you never tell me you can play? You've been hiding from me. Why don't you play a song? That would keep me company. I can try. Kyo! I had no idea you could play the flute. It's so beautiful. But I'm afraid you will have to stop. Mr. Hiroki down the hall is very old and is trying to sleep. That's enough folding for tonight. Come, see the stars. Look how many we can see tonight. Is it true that when children die, they go up to heaven and become one of the stars in the sky? I've heard that souls are sent on the wings of a crane to paradise. Maybe then they become stars. I would like that, to become a star, to get rid of my sick body. I could be a shooting star. I could be like flying. When I was a girl, I used to dream of being a bird. My sister married young and moved away. I dreamed of being a bird and carrying messages to her. <coughs> I dream that my cranes will carry peace on their wings and fly around the world. That is a beautiful dream, Sadako. Well, I believe that you will finish folding your cranes and live to be an old lady. The nurses and I have been collecting medicine wrappers for you to fold with. I'll bring them to you in the morning. But for now, come, Kyo. It's time for bed. Good night, Sadako. Good night. Sleep well. Life for Sadako continued in this fashion for some time. Every day, Sadako folded crane after crane use whatever material she could get her hands on. And every day, Kyo kept her company, entertaining Sadako with her music, whose melodies seemed to become familiar to every patient in the hospital. One day, however, the nurse arrived with unexpected news. Kyo had recovered and was now well enough to leave the hospital. Are you all packed, Kyo? Your family is waiting for you outside. Yes, yes, I will be there in a moment. Don't be long, the children are waiting to say goodbye. This is goodbye for now, Sadako. I wish you were coming with me. It doesn't feel right to leave without you. Don't you worry about me. I'm just glad to see you healthy again. Anyway, I can't leave here. I am a mayor after all. I made a crane especially for you. Thank you. Anyway, I'll let you get back to your folding. I'll make sure I come and visit you all the time. I would like that. 
Be strong, Salika Chan. Kyo kept her promise and visited Salika whenever she could. But for Salika, life without her friend was not the same. However, her commitment to fold all 1,000 cranes kept her going through all the tests and procedures and pain. She was more determined than ever to fold every last one. She sang and folded and sang and folded. It gave her hope. 432, 433, 434, 435, 436, 437, 438. See? Chizuko taught me. You didn't have to worry about me anymore. Chizuko figured out a way to get me well. If I fold 1,000 paper cranes, then the gods would make me healthy again. I'm so glad. I thought you'd be sad about not being able to run in the races. Oh, that. I don't think about that old race anymore. Silly old race. What good was it? Anyway, folding cranes is much better than any old race. Sodoko, these are the most cranes I've ever seen in one place before, but where'd you get all the paper? Well, Chizuko brought me some, and my friends have been giving me all their old candy wrappers, and the nurses have been giving me all their old medicine wrappers, and Folding cranes is kind of like a race, don't you think? If I fold enough of them fast enough, then I'll get well. Yes, 
Your mother is a faithful person. Each light is a spirit. They are so beautiful. Where are they going? To paradise. Soon you will see. Soon the spirits will join us. Join us? You mean I'll be able to meet the spirits? Yes. How wonderful. Grandmother, the air is filled with cranes. More than you can imagine, Zadiko. Take cover. Do you see the clouds just ahead? Yes, I see them. Hold fast, Zadiko. And up to the stars. They are so close. Grandmother he looks just like an emperor. That is Masashige, one of the greatest philosophers of all time. He was summoned from an emperor's dream and lived the life of pure faith and devotion. It is said like it, life is like a flower, beautiful and brief. For him, as for the flower, death follows naturally, gloriously. He rides on the wings divine. Grandmother, what's that up there? Those are the spirits of a thousand, thousand years. A thousand, thousand years? Yes, they were once young like you, Sadako. Like me? Yes, their valley is deep and their mountains are hard to climb. We need not visit them. Look up ahead. That is our mountain. 593, 594, 356 cranes to make a thousand. She was buried with many of them. Her friends began to dream of building a monument to her and all the children who were killed by the atomic bomb. 
They created a leaflet requesting the school's principals across Japan to carry a Sadako story back to their students and distributed it at a convention of school's principals in November 1955. In that tenth year since the bombing, Sadako's story took hold and students began to learn her story and donations started coming in from junior high school students all over Japan. The students at Sadako School formed a committee called the Hiroshima Children and Students Council for the Creation of Peace. Together they wrote another letter. They sent it to every school and nation, telling Sadako's story and asking for donations. 994. By December 1956, through the participation of over 3,000 schools, they had raised $450,000. 995. The statue for children of the atomic bomb was unveiled on May 5, 1958, Children's Day in Japan. It stands today in the Hiroshima Peace Park. It is a statue of Sadako standing on top of the stone mountain. She is holding a giant crane up to the sky. 996. That children from all over the world fold cranes and send them to the Peace Park. 997. There are monuments to Sadako at Seattle and Santa Fe. Come a call to peace. 998. A call to action. Children send cranes to many places where people are at risk and the work of healing and peace needs to happen. To Fukushima, to Ukraine. 999. To Rwanda. To New Orleans. To the Middle East. 1000. Look, Grandmother, you were right. Sadako's cranes fly, calling us to be the peace. Risk. Be the peace! Mrs. 
Hess and Mrs. Fontana, there actually there's a gift for you. So, Mrs. Hess, come out and get your gift, please. All right, and we would also like to say thank you to Mr. To Toy. <laughs> Being entertaining but also serious. <laughs> As he is. <laughs> and also, we would like to thank Mr. Silence for, for building the set, including the beautiful puppet crane. So, this person has really been the mother of the show. Just like we were. Yeah. And uh, Miss Darden has worked with us through thick and thin and really put together some play. Please give a round of applause for Miss Darton. So I have a gift from the cast and I to give to Miss Darton. She has really made this play come together through everything that we've done from the start, since nobody really much knew their lines before, and now everybody knows them, and we could have succeeded a day and a night show with very great success because of the start. Yeah. yeah. 